The lash of the whip is deep, and the scars begin to weep over time. The lash of the whip still makes up the day, one among many in a day job. Your nerves aroused, your existence can't be just this pettiness, this emptiness. You must write at six o'clock, the first part, the insatiable part of the day finished. The second half begins, ice, ice cold coke and chocolate, the sugar rush to your brain, and with a pen, a keyboard, you wrench the hours away from mediocrity. Who cares if they rip? As long as you and this day both hand justified by living. Actually, I don't like this one. <laughs> Portraits. The mother's side. A bucket full of black worms, short, gleaming, in perpetual motion. One hole to speak, defecate, the same pollution. The father's side, a broken mirror, shards, nicking each other, sides fatter than the surface. Trying to arrange them, you cut your fingers, blood, they won't come together. Symptoms day. So, what's wrong with you exactly? A ball, no. A crystallized knot, black and breakable diamond grafted to my diaphragm. The bread always interrupted me. Not quite. In my state, precision is no relief. More of a vanity, like going well dressed to the execution squad. The breath incapable of satisfying, of reaching its end, of offering sufficient oxygen to mute the knot at the instant of breath. A disgust like a fog, not the urge to vomit, as if smell and soul had fused into one. And the soul, yes, the soul. The soul I bury during each day in their manual task repetition. And at night she comes back. Symptoms night. Try as I might to bandage, bind. It pisses out from all over. I plug a hole right away. The soul pisses three more. Flows out with even stronger force. Out in the garden at night. Cloudless sky. So many stars, they become uncountable. A little what? Comfort is stupid. Forgetting. Just the bounded time of a gaze at the night, respite. To know too much. Barely, a little but not really. What? Well, I can make it out. My variation faced with a repeated question, do you speak Greek? My father didn't speak to us. My brother and I acquired the basics by external roads. Neither pursued it very far. At 20, the desire fist on the table to go live there one year, to catch up. To catch up on what? I didn't do it. And today I know to really learn to speak Greek, to learn up to knowing, would have been to tighten the link with my father, destroy the damn water mass of his suffering, his memories, the gravity. No less the sporadic flood to bathe in it, to learn, really learn the Fazan's language. That would be to know too much. Thank you.